Carmen. Well, you may remember Friday night's tornado emergency, right? That was for several communities in northern Arkansas. Well, Saturday, the National Weather Service in Little Rock surveyed the area and found no tornado damage. Arkansas Storm Team meteorologist Alex Libby is in studio with us to explain what exactly happened. Hi, Alex. Yeah, Donna, the setup for Friday night's storm was one that gave the forecasters at the National Weather Service a very difficult decision to make. The powerful supercell started in Fulton County and tracked through Sharp, Lawrence, and Craighead counties. This part of the state is more than 100 miles away from the nearest radar site, and being this far from the radar meant the meteorologist at the National Weather Service had to rely on reports on the ground when issuing the warnings. And with at least nine reports of tornado or tornado damage, the meteorologist felt the tornado emergency was the right call to make. National Weather Service meteorologist coordinating manager, meteorologist Dennis Cavanaugh says the train along with storm occurring after dark made it difficult for spotters to accurately determine if it was a tornado or not. It's a low hanging cloud that's usually a precursor to a tornado. If they see that and you know the horizon is blocked by trees, they have to rely on lightning strikes in order to get a view of that low hanging cloud and that can be misleading. Kavanaugh says the National Weather Service is still investigating the situation for possible malicious reports. And this comes after there were found to be malicious reports on Monday's storm that also was warned as a tornado emergency. Meteorologist Alex will be reporting in studio. Back to you. All right.